this is awful. This is, um, this is really awful. Um, and I don't think I gave my mom enough credit for how awful this is. next day after surgery um i didn't vlog as much as i wanted to have vlogged um, and the reason being is because i just was so sick um not cough cough sick but i was just full of anxiety and depression i wasn't really eating um, i was using sleep aids to sleep i was using anti-anxieties to calm my nerves um for the last few few days um, I exhausted myself the day before surgery on Wednesday, trying to run all my errands to get everything done so that my mom would have an easier time taking care of my sister and I. Uh, my sister actually had foot surgery on Tuesday. Um, so, I, and I couldn't stop crying. I just cried all the time. I was just so sad and depressed and miserable. And I couldn't, I feel like I couldn't talk without Feel like feeling like I was gonna choke, um, and my stomach hurt so bad from my anxiety. It just felt like there was a fist in my stomach, and I, I just couldn't breathe. I couldn't eat. It was just very, very difficult. Um, and when we got got to the hospital, I was okay. Um, I vlogged a little bit, did a little bit of B-roll, but I I just was so focused on trying to make sure that. I was mentally okay. I didn't want to freak my mom out. I didn't want, um, I didn't want my anxiety to get the best of me while she was with me um, because she had her own anxiety about me having surgery. She couldn't stay. Uh, she was able to be there for all of the stuff um, before I went to surgery, but after that, she had to leave. Um, after that, she had to leave. So. And I haven't seen her since. She's coming to pick me up as, as long as I get discharged today. But, um, yeah, it was just very difficult. Mentally draining, physically draining. And it was just hard pri prior to surgery. But um, surgery went well. Um, I'm, in good, I'm in better spirits now than I was prior to having surgery. Um, I have soreness. I have a lot of soreness, but not, like my pain is soreness. It's not um, pressure. So that's nice. I'm really happy about that um, because I'd much rather it be soreness than it be um, pressure, pain. So um, that's great. I have really good arm function. Like I can actually touch my head, which is amazing. Um, I was really concerned about my arms not being to work properly. So. Uh, that was one of my major concerns. I was very scared about that. Um, because that, I know that can't happen. And for someone they have to go through therapy to get their arms to work again, I am so blessed to say my arms are working and they are functioning very, very well. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry, my phone cut, cut off, but um, my doctors were Dr. Paul Yasti. He removed all of my breast tissue. That'll be going, um, that'll be sent off to the pathologist. Um, so we're hoping, that's like my last cancer check, so I'm excited, um, just to make sure that there was no underlying cancer at all. Um, we're expecting nothing, um, just because I passed all of my other cancer checks. Um, um, and my other doctor, my plastic surgeon, is Dr. Um, Melvin Macklin. Um, he is doing all of my reconstruction work, so... Um, giving me my spacers, um, their spacers in my breasts right now, uh, expanders, and they will be pumped up to the size that I want my breasts to be 
there is a maximum size I can get. Um, and then, um, yeah, he's gonna be doing all that. And then in December, I'll be getting my permanent implants and all of that stuff. I do have four drains in my body currently. I don't have the strength to show you. Um, so I will show you later on. Um, if I still have four drains after I leave today, I will show you my four drains. Um, I can't think of much else. Oh, this part of my IV is to take, it takes count of how much CO2 I'm breathing out. Um, that's why I have this bottom piece to my oxygen, my nasal oxygen things. Um, I haven't really been eating. Um, I've just slept for like, I don't know, 16, 17 hours. I've just slept this whole time. I haven't really done anything besides sleep. I haven't even turned my TV on um, in my hospital room. All I've done is slept. Um, and I'm not mad about it. I love to sleep when I can sleep. Um, but I just slept the whole time. Um, unfortunately, I called my mom and told her um, when, I, when I do, when it's time for me to eat, she's gonna have to sit and watch me um, and make sure I don't fall asleep while eating because I, I've been falling asleep with food in my mouth, just completely passing out. Um, and there's no, I can't help it. Like she has to physically make me respond and talk um, so that way I can sit and eat without falling asleep. Um, I haven't eaten. I've taken two bites of a cheeseburger and had like five fries since uh, midnight of, since like 11, no, 11.30 of Wednesday. And today is now Friday. So I've pretty much had to have me eaten for almost 24 hours. Um, I had two crackers. Um, but I've been drinking water. I had a little bit of Pepsi to drink to break up the taste of just drinking water. Um, for the most part, I'm good, I'm healthy. Um, I'm in really good spirits, way better spirits than I've been the last few days. Um, and I'm in my surgical bra and everything. So I don't know, I'm doing good. I also have a catheter, so I haven't had to get up and pee. Um, so that's been amazing. I'm just, I'm doing good. I'm doing really, really well. Um, and I'm happy and I'm proud of myself. I did it. Um, I did it. I did a very scary thing. Um, and I did really well. And I am vlogging all of this by myself, so it's a little difficult, but I'm happy. I'm good. Also, I have my Teddy. They gave her a boob job as well. I will have to insert the picture that they took and sent to my mom. Um, but I've been calling my mom like crazy um, just to keep her in good spirits and let her know that I'm doing well um, and that I'm doing just fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Uh, she's just going to have to really pay attention to my eating. Um, so that way, my portions are probably going to be close to nothing. But um, just that I don't fall asleep and choke choke myself to death from falling asleep with food in my mouth. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that this, like I feel fine now, fine. My soreness is at like a 9 out of 10. So I'm in a decent amount of pain. But um, I'm hoping that I uh, also have a raspy voice, but I'm hoping that the pain doesn't get worse before it gets better. Um, you know how when you have like a bruise or something and you hurt yourself, the pain gets worse, like things get worse before they get better. Um, I'm hoping that's not the case. That's gonna be like my worst nightmare. If, if this is okay and then like a few days later, I'm in just a tremendous amount of pain. So I'm hoping this is like the worst it gets. Um, but that's usually how it is for surgeries. So I'm just gonna hope for the best in that area. Um, I have a raspy voice um, due to all the dryness. They put those tubes and stuff down your throat and in your lungs and on your lungs to protect your lungs and to help you breathe and everything. So I actually have a really raspy voice and I just have a dry mouth and dry, uh, just a dry mouth, dry lips, uh, dry throat. It's really just, that's like awful right now, but other than that, I'm doing good. Um, I got a, a lot of well wishes and those were amazing and they made me feel better in all the memes and DMs. Like I said, I've been sleeping, so I haven't been able to get through all of them, um, but I will over time. So I'm doing well, I'm doing fine. I'm gonna go back to sleep here soon um, before they take out my catheter and everything. So yeah. I'll keep you guys updated more as things progress. 
this. This is my hospital room. Um, this is everything on my little table. There's my glasses, a little bit of Pepsi. Um, I've been drinking water, another pair of socks. This is my chapstick that they gave me, uh, I think with like vitamin E or something. Um, I've been using that. My personal items are in there. I didn't bring that much. Um, I have a huge TV. I Like I said, I haven't even turned it on. I've just been sleeping. Um, my nurses were Rachel and Vicky. They were amazing. Um, just, they were really, really sweet and kind to me. Um, and they were just great. Um, there's a sink and stuff over there. Um, the personal, my personal stuff, they've been using just like on my person. I'm a curtain that keeps me blocked off. Um, and then my restroom, I haven't used it just because like I haven't used it. I'm on a catheter, so at some point I'll have to use it, but um, just my monitors and everything, more of my monitors, speakers, all that stuff. I haven't really looked behind me. Um, and then that is also my IV. This is my second IV bag. I've gone through two. Um, so my catheter has been working overtime. Um, and then, yeah, so they take, they do my vitals and everything every four hours. My IV on my wrist, which is actually doing really well. It hasn't caused me a tremendous amount of pain. Um, Cause she did the vein in my wrist, which is awesome. It doesn't hurt nearly as bad as like your hand. I have really small veins in my hand, but a pretty decent sized vein over near my wrist. And then this is checking my oxygen. Um, my oxygen has been at 100, um, so that's been amazing. Um, so yeah, that is all. This machine is the one that is keeping out of my, keeping me from getting blood clots. They're attached to my legs. I don't know if I can show you. Let's see if I can actually show you. So these are my socks, but these little white things are on my legs. They pump up and down to keep the um, my, my legs from getting blood clots. So um, they're on both of my legs and they are, oh, I don't wanna show you too much, but they're keeping me good um, and blood clot free. So it's been great. And that is my hospital room, yeah. Okay, hi everyone. So to, this is gonna be, I think it's like 11.30. Um, I'm at home. Um, I've been home since about four o'clock. Um, and I finally just stopped crying. I was crying um, quite a bit. I was talking to my friend Brooke and she helped calm me down a bit. Um, this is awful. This is, um, this is really awful. Um, and I don't think I gave my mom enough credit for how awful this is. I'm in a lot of pain. And like your chest muscles, like you don't realize how much you use them until you use them. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just, I'm just in a lot of pain. A lot, a lot of pain. Um, it still feels like soreness, um, but not like pressure. Um, the doctor did say I have to start practicing and working on my breathing so that way I can get used to using my diaphragm again um, and taking deep breaths. So that's going to be um, interesting because if you know already, I have really bad asthma. I only breathe out of one lung, so I can only do so much so um, we have a little small goal in mind um, just to practice too and that's the best I got so um, yeah I'm still trying to be in good spirits I'm still mentally okay still in good spirits um, I'm just in an unrealistic amount of pain um, at this point mom has me sitting up now instead of laying all the way down because you use way too many muscles when you're laying all the way down. Um, so I guess sitting up will be my new normal for a while. Um, and she brought me my meds. Um, so I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, and if you know anyone that's going through this, that's about to go through this, um, 
the best thing you can do is be there for them um be there to just talk talk to them um and with the world of iphone zoom and all of that um there's no excuse um because all of my friends have facetimed me and called me and that's been just really an amazing part of all of this is just being able to talk to them and them help me get my mind off things so um i have which i don't know if you can see now but i have four drains these are two of them and then these are the other two um and they're attached to the top of my body um, where my breasts are um so that way they can drain out the fluid um the doctor did tell me that the fluid isn't bad it's just better to not have it um floating around in your body so i do have to practice going to the restroom though going from not having a catheter to having a cath or to having a catheter to not having one now um mom has to help me use the restroom and the pee doesn't just like come out like it used to um, i actually have to like systematically think about pushing it out which is strange and i don't know why i felt the need to tell you guys that but um every day is i guess poses new threats and challenges um and i guess this is like this is the worst that i was talking about before it gets better so um i'm just ready for it to be over because this this is awful this is absolutely awful but yeah okay today is officially sunday um after surgery surgery was thursday it's been thursday friday saturday so it's like three days um post-surgery um i feel like i'm doing pretty well um i'm extremely sore um which is to be expected but it's like i said no pressure so i'm just happy about that um i've kept a really a pretty brave face um mom has been helping me with everything um i've been trying not to bother her um too too much um just as much as i can i like, not bother her i've been doing that um she's just been making sure i've had my medicine um and that i've been eating my eating has gotten a little bit better every day <clears throat> so that's been really good just a little bit of eating here and there's gotten bitter um i can't sit up on my own completely yet i can a few times a day just to go pee but i can't for most of the day um i have to say sitting up because the muscles it takes to sit up from laying down to sitting up is way too painful um so we have this whole concoction behind me to keep me sitting up um and i sleep sitting up um this travel pillow it's a game changer um it's amazing but yeah i'm doing pretty decent um pain we've been keeping under control my eating's been good i've just been drinking water um drinking juice um, like I said, I can go to the bathroom by myself now. Um, I move really, really slow, but slow and steady wins the race. Um, I don't have any, like, major updates. Um, I'm in pain, um, but the pain still isn't as bad as, like, the very first night. The very first night when I came home, I laid completely down, and to go from, like, completely down to sitting up was so painful that I just broke down, um, and I just could okay. But yeah, sometimes I have a raspy voice. Um, and it's because my doctor said I have fluid in my lungs. Um, I don't have the diaphragm uh, to be able to cough everything out like I need to. So I have to practice um, working on my diaphragm so that way I can cough all the fluid out of my lungs. Um, so that way I don't develop pneumonia. Um, and I also have to keep my room pretty chilly because I am super hot um, and I can't develop a fever. So uh, my room is pretty chilly, but it doesn't feel chilly to me. When people come in, they say it's really cold, but I think it feels amazing. Uh, but it's probably like 64 degrees in here. 
um, but I, we practice working on my diaphragm twice a day and then we practice coughing twice a day so that way I can get all the fluid out of my lungs so that way it doesn't sit and I develop pneumonia. Um, I don't have a strong voice. I never really did have a strong voice, but um, it's even weaker than it used to be. Um, but for the most part, I'm doing fine. Um, I'm still in good spirits. I've been in good spirits, really, uh, but minus that one breakdown I had whenever I had to go from laying all the way down to sitting up. But for the most part, I'm fine. I'm doing fine. Um, on top of my meds, on top of everything. Um, I don't know what I'll show you guys throughout this first week. Because like I said, I'm doing all of the vlogging myself. And I'm only capable of so much. But for the most part, um, I haven't cried since the day I got home. Around 11.30. Uh, or not 11.30, but whenever I got up around 11.30. Um, <laughs> sorry. Around 11.30 when I woke up and I was in pain from um, trying to sit up. But for the most part, so good. Uh, going so good. Doing well. Um, yeah, and I will be back with you guys for whatever the next update is. I have to be frank. I am not doing terrible. Am I miserable? 100%. Um, do I feel like I'm going to die? 50%. Um, it's just awful, right? Like, it's just awful. I didn't take any payments all today. Only payments that I took today were just now for nighttime so that way I can sleep hopefully a little bit more soundly. Um, my back is really, really sore from sitting up and sleeping. Yeah, I've had to sleep sitting up. That is awful. Um, but we've had this concoction behind me of a ton of pillows and a neck pillow the travel pillow let me grab it like one of these like travel neck pillows so that way um, i can rest my head and neck on it and it has been a game changer um so i highly recommend it if you had the sleep sitting up but um i've said it before in this video and i'll say it again like i'm extremely proud of myself um i've only broken down twice I haven't cried a whole lot. Um, I haven't felt sorry for myself a whole lot. Am I miserable? I am 110% miserable. This is awful. I do not wish this on my worst enemy. Um, it's just awful. It sucks. Um, but I'm doing fine. My voice, as you can tell, every day has been a little bit better. We've been practicing my breathing for my diaphragm. Um, I can take slightly better deep breaths than I could before. Um, uh, I'm gonna insert or try to insert pictures um, and video clips of everything. I have drains attached to my body um, that drain out the excess fluid. The doctor did tell me that the only reason they do the drains is because you just don't need that extra fluid in your body. You just don't want that. Um, it's not harmful, it will not cause me any problems, but I would just be sloshy if I didn't have it. So. Um, but I will say I'm happy with the placement of where they put them. The drains are literally right underneath my armpit. So if I was wearing a bikini or a swimming suit or a bra, they're like easy to hide. So I'm, I'm grateful for the placement of my scars. Um, I don't know. Um, I can lay down uh, fully on my back now. So day one, I could not and I cried. But, um, on day six, which is today. I can lay all the way down. It takes me a little bit and takes my ab muscles to sit up. But I can lay all the way down and I can sit all the way back up. Um, it's slow. It's really steady. Um, and it requires a lot of muscles. I can lift my arms. I can lift both of them. I can scratch my head. I can lift both of my arms. So that is absolutely amazing. If you knew me, that was one of my biggest fears is that I wasn't going to be able to use my arms uh, because I like using my arms. Um, and I don't have that many gauze attached to my body. I have the VAC, which I'll show you pictures without it being vulgar. Um, but I have no, um, nearly no gauze. I just have a little bit of going, going, gauze, a little bit of gauze on the incisions. And I have the wound VAC attachment to the incisions. Um, but everything else is like literally surgically taped 
my boobs are taped like a FedEx package, okay? They can be shipped tomorrow. I am so taped down. I don't have hardly any gauze. I am FedEx wrapped and I hate it. My skin needs oxygen so bad. Um, tomorrow will be one week. I will be going to the doctor. Um, I'm excited that it has been one week. I am doing okay. I am a lot stronger than I ever thought I, I ever thought I was. I'm a lot stronger than I ever thought I was. I'm pretty self-sufficient. I can make myself something to eat if I need to. Um, I can walk around, I can feed the dog. Um, not lifting any weight by any means or anything crazy like that. Um, but for it to just be one week, I am doing, I am doing okay. I am doing okay. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm any less miserable because probably 90% of the day, I'm like, I'm miserable. So mom and I just left the plastic surgeon's office, the doctor's office, whatever. Um, I wasn't able to record because we were in and out pretty quick, but um, all they did was take my suture back off. I have rashes on my chest. Um, I'll insert pictures um, from the vac being on my chest. Uh, they took off all the plat or all the tape, which is incredibly painful. It's like ripping off like the longest band-aid you've ever experienced in your life. And it was awful. I had to keep these drains. I have to keep at least two of them until Monday and today is Thursday. And I have to keep the other two until either Wednesday or next Thursday. So that's a whole nother week. I'm really disappointed because they are extremely painful and annoying and I just, I just really want them out. So it wasn't like the most amazing doctor's visit I got to see. Uh, what my incisions look like. Uh, they don't look bad. The incisions look pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm just disappointed, so I'll see you guys next week.